Hey everybody, Mike Iconelli out here in the shop and I've got a brand new series for you called the Ultimate Jig Series. And in this series of shops, we're gonna break down one of the best bass lures ever created. In fact, I'll take it a step further. It's one of the best, most versatile, big bass catching lures ever created. And I'm talking about the skirted jig. The skirted jig. Uh, this is gonna be a good series. I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're gonna break it all down for you. I mean everything. If you're watching this and you're saying, I was always unsure about jigs. I don't, I'm unsure about when or where or the color or the size or the trailer or the bite or the rod or the reel. Guess what? We're going to cover it all. Uh, you're going to want to stay tuned for this entire series. But we are going to break the skirted jig down and talk about why it's one of the best bass baits ever created. Uh, in this series, we're really going to focus in on not just the big general picture, but also the little modifications that make the jig better. Uh, I'm excited to bring you this series. Before we get into some of the basics, let me tell you that I can vividly remember hearing about this lore. I was 17, 18 years old, and I started hearing about the skirted jig, and I remember getting my first few jigs. And I think back then they were just bigger jigs. I remember getting my first few skirted jigs. And I looked at it and I said, what in the heck is going to eat that thing? It's such a strange looking bait. Um, I also remember tying it on for the first time and having no idea how to fish it. In fact, I think I was fishing it without a trailer the first few times. But through trial and error and gaining confidence and different situations, I've really learned that this bait for me is one of the all-time greats. Um, I already mentioned it, but I want to tell you again, this is one of those lures. The jig, the skirted jig, is one of those lures that you can fish all year long. That means winter. I'm talking water, in, guys, I'm talking water in the 30s and 40s. Winter, spring, pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn. Post Summer, the hottest water of the year. 90 degree water temperature, 100 degree water temperature. Jig catches them. And of course, all through the fall, back to the winter. When you think about that, how many lure categories can you honestly say works all four seasons. There's not very many, but the skirted jig is one of them. So all year long, different water conditions and different water types. All right, let me break that one down for you. Dude, the skirted jig works in all water conditions, especially I'm talking water clarity, right? The dirtiest water you'll ever see. You who chocolate milk. You can't see a, a, a centimeter down in the water. It's so dirty. A jig is a great lure. Heavily stained, stained, clean, clear, ultra clear. The clearest water you'll ever find in your life. A skirted jig, a, this style of skirted jig will work. So different water conditions, different water types. These jigs will work in um, shallow water, deep water, mid-depth water. These different jig types will work in lakes, reservoirs, rivers, streams, ponds, Great Lakes. Think about that. The more I flush it out, e even as I'm talking, I'm like, this is, the skirted jig's the best lure ever created. And it is one of them because 
You can throw it anywhere, at any time, in any water conditions. Calm, windy, sunny, cloudy. There's a jig that's going to work. Um, in this series, we're really going to dive into some specifics as well. But let me give you the generals in this first of the Ultimate Jig Series. We're going to focus in on what I consider the five major jig styles. And to be able to use this bait through all those conditions, different water types, different water colors, uh, different locations, different seasons, we really do want to carry these five styles of jigs. And they're all a little different and all a little unique. Um, so real quick, let me breeze over what I consider is the five jig categories. And we're really going to go into detail and flush them all out. Let's start small and get big, okay? Let's do it in that order. And the first lure jig, skirted jig category that we have to have to make this the most versatile bait ever are what I consider micro jigs. And micro jigs are skirted jigs that are itsy bitsy, that are super small, that are almost tiny. Uh, and we're gonna have situations where the micro skirted jig rules, beats all the other four styles of jigs. So my first must have jig style category is a micro jig. The next one, we're going to get a little bigger for you guys. The next one is a compact jig. All right, so now we're getting a little bigger. Now we're, we're not in that micro category, but we're surely not a full size jig. And the next skirted jig category that you have to have it are these compact jigs. And the, the Missile Mini Flip was one of the first ones, but there's a lot of them out there now. Different manufacturers. Almost everyone now is making a smaller, more squat, small profile, compact skirted jig. All right, that was number two. Number three, and this is the one that most people know, is the bigger full-sized standard jig, a full-size jig, right? And this is a, a missile flip out, but this is the one that I think everybody recognizes as a regular skirted jig. This is your run-of-the-mill full-sized jig. Uh, this one's in a flipping pitching style head. We're really gonna dive into that head style a little bit. But this one is probably the most versatile out of all of them. It's big, it's full bodied, it's full size, but you can do a ton of things with that full size jig, especially in that flipping pitching style head that we're gonna talk more about. So, so number three, a full size jig, a regular full size skirted jig. Number four, and this is another must have. This isn't one that is one of those categories that you don't need in, in your box. You don't need in your tackle bag. You have to have this one too. And this one's gonna be the football jig. The football jig. And when you look at the football jig, it's more of a full-size looking jig, but it has a specialized head. And this, this is a head banger, but everybody, all the jig companies make a football jig. And if you look at the head, the head the head of that jig is really football shaped. It almost looks like a football. Really broad shoulders, points on the end, right? Football style head. And this jig is gonna become our weapon when we're fishing around rock. When we're fishing deep, on a hard bottom, or any kind of rock. I mean, from pebbles, to chunk rock, to fist size rock, to boulders, this football jig is gonna allow us to fish the jig through the cover. We're gonna focus in on that. So number four, must have jig. We're gonna flush them out, the football jig. 
And then last but not least, in a category on its own, is the swim jig. The swim style skirted jig. And just like the football jig, a swim jig has a more specialized head, a more specialized line tie that's going to allow us to swim this jig through the water column. Swim it. So, little different specialized head, but to make this category, to make skirted jigs the ultimate bass lure. Fishing it year round, different color water, different cover. We need that as our fifth category, the swim jig. So we're gonna be flushing those five styles out in this series. Micro, compact, full size, football, and swim jig. And we're gonna be really diving into some of the specifics of those jigs. All right, let's go on to trailers and I remember back to that first time I fished a jig and didn't put a trailer on it. Well, I can tell you that the trailer, the type of trailer that goes on that jig is a critical component. So we're really gonna flush trailer selection out as well. Uh, in my mind, and, and we're really gonna dive into the specifics of this, but there are three basic types of trailers based on the action of that trailer. And there's a time and a place to use each type of trailer. So let me basically show you the three types. And in another part of this series, we're gonna flush trailer selection out. We're gonna start with a trailer type that I call a non-action or neutral action trailer. And we're gonna classify these skirted jig trailers as chunks. Chunk style trailers, uh, people know them as pork frogs. Uh, and when you look at them, it's sort of a fatty piece of plastic with, with these legs, rabbit ear, call them rabbit ears, you can tell why. Rabbit ear style legs. And in this category, this trailer gives that jig a neutral or non-high action. There's no big action to it. It's a no action or neutral action, very fluid motion. And we're really gonna talk about, there are times when you want that and when a neutral action chunk, a non-action chunk trailer will perform better than any other trailer. The next type of trailer we're gonna talk about sort of gets more action, right? Chunk, no action. Number two on trailer selection, we're gonna take a look at crawl style trailers. Crawls on the back of our skirted jig. And the great thing about a crawl its action is more than that chunk, but it's not a super high action. It falls in the middle. So for our second jig trailer category, we're gonna call it moderate or mid action trailer, right? The chunk was no action, neutral action trailer. Now our crawl is gonna become our mid or moderate action trailer. And this trailer has a moderate amount of action. Now it goes and has a little more kick, a little more vibration, more of that up and down motion with those claws flowing. So it's not no action and neutral like a chunk, but it's not high action like our third category we're talking about in a second. It's more neutral. And we're gonna really flush out when to select the moderate action trailer over the other two. We're gonna talk about water conditions, clarity. We're gonna talk about cover. We're gonna talk about profile. And we're gonna talk about water temperature. 
It's being a determiner of when to use this one. All right, last but not least, in our categories of jig trailers, and I cannot wait for this part of the series because I love talking about jig trailers. We're gonna talk about the third type of jig trailer, which is what I call a high action jig trailer. Now you look at this, you might think, well, that's another crawl, but it's not. This is a double tail grub. Uh, we're gonna be looking at high action trailers that have big curls, big arms that give this trailer a tremendous amount of movement. So now we went from the chunk, no action, the crawl, moderate action, and now we're going to the double tail grubs, the single tail grubs, the baits that have a lot of curl to the appendages that are gonna give it giant movement, giant action. Those double tail curls, double tail grub is basically what that is, coming through the water makes a huge presence, a big vibration, a big movement, and really activates that skirted jig. It turns that skirted jig into something that's gonna move big. So our third type of trailer is gonna be a big or high action trailer, like a double tail grub. And for sure there are times when we're gonna pick that over the other two styles. All right, last but not least, and I wanna make sure I mention this, the skirted jig is one of the most versatile baits ever created for all those reasons we talked about, but let me add this one. And that is, we can catch all three species of bass with this bait. From largemouth to spotted bass, and last but not least, smallmouth and ultra clear water. We can catch all of them with this skirted jig. Uh, man, I'm excited to get on with this series and really help you break it down. Um, we're gonna be talking about the big picture, the specifics, the tricks, the tips. We're even gonna go into rod reel line and the proper way to set the hook. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about how to detect a bite, probably one of the hardest things for newcomers to this category. We're gonna tell you how to detect a bite, how to know it's a bite. Um, and it's gonna be a great series. So I'm excited, man, if, if, if you wanna really know about the big picture of a jig, a skirted jig, stay with me in this series. It's gonna be a good one. I hope you like what you're watching. Uh, cannot wait to flush out the jigs with you. If you like what you're hearing, if you like what you're watching, hit that subscribe button down there. Subscribe to my channel because we've got new content coming to you every single week. This is, uh, this is the skirted jig. We're gonna be talking about it over the next couple series. Hang in there with us. It's one of the best lures ever created. Bye.